Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a monthly favourites video and I filmed one of these a couple of months ago and really enjoyed doing it but then just got busy and got out of the habit of doing them. However, monthly favourite videos are one of my favourite things to watch and I also really enjoy filming them as well so I thought that I would try and get back into the habit of doing it. I also said on my last video that I find that a lot of monthly favourite videos are very focused on beauty things and as a mum I don't tend to spend a lot of money on myself in that respect so mine are going to be a real mismatch of things that I have been enjoying so for example this month there is interiors and books and a little bit of beauty and some fashion and all sorts of different things so I'm going to get started and show you what I have been loving but if you are new here my name is Katie and I post videos two to three times a week on all sorts of different things and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. So I am going to get started and show you what I've got. I'm going to start with beauty and I just said before that I don't tend to spend a lot of money on myself beauty wise. Actually this month I have done and first up is skincare and I have been really enjoying this. And this is the Trilogy Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. And basically, I have always been a very much take my makeup off with a wipe kind of girl. I go through phases where I get kind of into skincare if I got something for Christmas or whatever. But I've very much been quite a just relaxed take it off with a white kind of girl and I know there'll be some people out there who are like oh no don't do that but I've always been like it however as I'm getting older I have started to get more kind of worried about my skin and want to take more care of my skin and I was having a conversation with my friend Rebecca a couple of months ago she vlogs over at Mrs Meldrum I'm sure you will follow her anyway and she was saying that she swears by this which is the certified organic rosehip oil by Trilogy and I thought I would give it a go and it was more than I would normally spend on myself on a single product. Like I said, I'm more of a white type of girl. I think that this was about £35. I will make sure I leave as much as I can in the description box below so you can go and check them out if you want to. But yeah, I think it was a little bit more than I would normally, well, it was way more than I would normally spend. But I'm absolutely loving this. And I don't know if you can see, but I've still got the majority of the bottle left because you only need to use two to three drops and it really leaves my skin feeling very, very hydrated and nourished and it's supposed to help with kind of scars as well and like fine lines and I'm just generally really loving it. You can use it morning and night but I find that I only really need it at night time and I'm just really enjoying it. I don't know if it's made any difference to my skin. My mum said that my skin looked a bit brighter but I don't know if she was just telling me what I wanted to hear. But I really am enjoying this, so thank you to Rebecca for recommending that to me. Next up, also on the lines of skincare and also on the lines of moisturising, like I said, I am not quite there yet with my skincare routine so if you have anything that you swear by then do leave me a comment below and let me know but I'm still kind of taking it off with micellar water and then sort of moisturising so if you've got a good routine that you'd like to share do leave it below. But I am really enjoying this and this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream and I am putting this on in the morning so I will wake up, put it on, then I'll go and get breakfast, get sorted, sort the house out, tidy up a little bit and then by the time I've come to put my makeup on I find that this has really sort of soaked into my skin and left my skin feeling really soft and it is more like a gel than a moisturising cream but I'm really enjoying this. This wasn't expensive and I will leave the links again in the description box but it just leaves my skin feeling really fresh really supple and just generally feeling really nice so I'm really enjoying that next up just in terms of makeup I've only got one thing that I've really kind of been enjoying that's any different this month and that is this this is the Tarte Tartlet Teas palette and I was actually given this by my friend Louise and I am really enjoying it so it's all very kind of pink and gold nude colours 
and it's just really lovely. I've always been very much a Urban Decay Naked palette girl. I have all three of them. I don't actually know if there's four out now, but I've got three of them and I've always just used very similar shades from those. And I just, I'm really loving this. I just think it's really nice. I really like the colors. They're very subtle for the daytime. I've got one of the pinks on at the moment actually. And it also smells amazing. I don't know what it smells like. It almost smells like sweets, but it's really nice and I'm really enjoying that this month. Next up, the last kind of beauty type thing is I asked on Instagram stories a while ago if anyone could recommend anything for my hair that was just a little bit better than going into Tesco or Boots and buying whatever cheap shampoo and conditioner was on offer and I had so many recommendations so much so that I've actually written them all down to try them in the future and they ranged from sort of slightly more money than you'd spend at the supermarket to really, really expensive. So this one cropped up again and again, which is a little bit more than you would spend, but actually deep down, I don't know if it was. And this is the L'Oreal Vitamino Professional range. And I think you can get all different sort of kind of ones. I went for pink, which is the color one because I've got colored hair. And I think I bought this on eBay for about 30 something pounds. And you know, that does sound like quite a lot of shampoo and conditioner, but when you look at how big the bottles are, and then you think about what you spend in the supermarket, it probably doesn't actually work out that much more really. And at the moment I'm really loving it. I'm finding it's making my hair feel really soft and it just feels really sort of nice and clean and I'm really enjoying those so I'm going to try these out it's going to take me quite a while to get through them and then I think I'll either try something else or if I'm still really enjoying these I'll stick with these but yeah loads of people recommended these to me and they are really good I'm really enjoying them so far Next up, I'm going to talk about books, I think. So we have just been on holiday to France and I actually got a little bit of a chance to read and I have always been a massive bookworm, but I don't have a huge amount of time to read anymore. I'm trying to make more time for myself. I'm trying to go up to my bedroom at night time and before I go to sleep, I am trying to read my book rather than look at my phone. But I managed to read two books while I was away and I am a massive fan of teen fiction. I don't know, I don't even know if they call it teen fiction, young adult fiction. I don't know if that makes me a complete sado because I'm not a young adult, but I've just always really enjoyed it. And these two are actually from the Zoella book club um, thing that she does. I don't know if anyone has heard of that, well, anyone who's watching who's old like me has heard of that, but it's really good. And she kind of recommends um, different books each month, um, every few months, sorry. And these were two that came up. So the first one is this one, which is History Is All You Left Me by Nicola Yoon. Oh no, sorry, that's not by, by, bye bye, who's it by? Adam Silvera, sorry, by Adam Silvera. And I would go as far as to say that this is probably one of the best books that I have read in a massively long time. And I always find that it's quite hard. You don't want to say too much about it because you don't want to give away the plot for anyone that wants to read it. But basically, it is about a young teenage boy who is gay and he has... Um, basically lost his best friend. I'm not giving anything away because that is on the back. And he's lost his best friend and it's just all about his grief and relationships and it's got some really good twists and it's told one chapter in the past, in the history and one chapter in the present and it's just beautifully written. It's just makes you cry. It's the first book that I've read in a long time that has made me actually cry at the end. And it's just beautiful. It's really, really lovely and really makes you think and is really heartbreaking. And just some of the lines in it are incredible. So I really recommend that. Like I said, I think that's one of the best books I have read in absolutely ages. Next up is this one, which is Letters to the Lost by Brid Bridget Kemmerer. And this is about a girl called Juliet who has lost her mother and she writes letters to her and leaves them by her grave. And um, basically she ends up writing to somebody and they start getting kind of talking, um, who leaves letters back to her and they 
end up sort of getting entwined in real life as well and it's just another really good book a really easy read I think that's why I like um, young adult fiction you know I don't at the end of a busy day I don't want anything too challenging to read I just want to be able to switch off and just not you know think about things too much and it was a really easy read I read this in about a day because I was on holiday and it was just really good so I definitely recommend both of those next up is kind of stationary bits I don't know if you saw last a few videos ago I did a video with Ryman and they sent me a few bits and it was brilliant I love stationary I'm a proper proper stationary geek but one of the things that they sent me I wanted to talk about again just because I'm loving it so much and it's this journal it's a lovely mint color and it's got silver embossed writing on the front that says things to do people to see and good times and I find I get myself so much all Organized, more organized if I have a good kind of notebook or journal and what I love about this one is that it's split into sections so the sections are this you can put the date at the top so today and then the sections are this will make today great stuff I'm supposed to do things to achieve people to call dates drinks and dinners and notes and doodles and I just love this I'm finding it's helping me get really organized I love that each you know you can put the date on each day and it gives me a clear view of what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to achieve that day and I just absolutely love this I'm getting on really well with it and it's pretty as well and then the next up in terms of stationery, a couple of months ago I put on Instagram that I'd bought a new diary and everybody was like, where's it from, where's it from? That was, I don't even know where it was from, I can't even remember. I used it for about three weeks and then got fed up of it and that sounds ridiculous but I have to really sort of gel with a diary. I always find that my husband says to me, oh why don't you use your calendar on your phone? But I just can't use my phone calendar. I love a good old fashioned way of writing in a diary and seeing what I'm doing each day and I didn't get on with the other diary that I bought so much to his dismay I bought this one and this was from Kiki K I don't know if you've heard of Kiki K it is an amazing stationery shop like absolutely amazing and it's based online and I think they also have a few in London now and I was walking up to a meeting in London and saw this in the St Pancras station one and I was like oh my gosh I have to get it because what I like about it is that it is small and it fits in my handbag which is what I kind of wanted and needed but it's also chunky like I hate those small diaries that are just a bit thin and flimsy this is very chunky and it's just really pretty it's got each um, each thing is different colors and it's just really really sweet and basically it's also got a huge note section at the back like which I also often find little diaries don't do but this has got a really big note section at the back and what's also really cute is it's got like a little sticker section as well so it's like a mini planner and I just really loved that I just thought it was really sweet and I'm getting on really well with that so I'm not planning on changing that one for a good year and that was quite expensive Kiki K is quite expensive I think for stationery but I do think it's worth it that was £18 and yeah I absolutely love that Next up I'll just do my last couple of bits which are interior bits. So I am doing our girls an ice cream themed room. This is the room that I'm currently in at the moment and it's very kind of pastels. I'm going to do a room tour when it's finished but it's just time trying to get it all done so it's not quite there yet. But I found these on This Modern Life, and I've spoken about This Modern Life in hauls and things before. It's my favourite shop for interior things. And I found this in the sale for £8, just in case they've sold out. The company is moonpicnic.com. And basically these are sheets of ice creams that you cut out and then you stick um sorry you don't cut them out you just glue them so you can fold them sorry and then basically it makes ice creams so you can see at the back what it makes it makes all these different scoops and cones and then you also have a little thing to display them all with and they were only eight pounds in the sale 
I like them so much that I bought some more. So they've already done one and it kept them entertained for absolutely ages. So I bought them this one as well to do another time. And then I'm going to put them up in their room when they're done. And I just thought it was a really cool little kind of thing to do during the summer holidays. It kept them entertained, but it's also pretty as well. And so I'm really loving that. And finally, the last thing is a bit random, very random actually, but I am loving this. So I'm a proper blogger cliche. If you look at my Instagram, you'll know that I love a cactus and I just couldn't resist this light. And it's by the brand Sunny Life. They sell these quite a lot of different places. Like I think they sell them in that This Modern Life I've just talked about. I got this one in Paper Chase. And I just love it. I'm going to put it in our playroom. What's really good about it is that it operates by battery and it also has a plug as well. So if you can plug it in, then you can. But I'm going to use it with the battery because I'm going to put it on the shelf in our new playroom when the shelf is up. It hasn't been put up yet. But I just really like this. I just thought it was really cute. I love neon lights and I just thought that that was really fun. And so I got that. And that is it. That is all the kind of things I have been really loving this month. Do let me know if you liked any of the things that I mentioned. And do let me know if you enjoyed this video and you would like me to do more of them. And what kind of things you'd like to see on them. And otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!